Hello and welcome to my Sudara by Prepomics. This time I'll show you how to analyze bending of a stiffened panel. So let's create new model first to be 3D and default units. And then I will import the geometry, uh, which in this case will be just a square plate with several T section stiffeners. And uh, then I'll create a meshing parameters object. And I will select 80 millimeters for the maximum element size. And so then uh, I also create a shell gmesh object, um, and here I will select 2D meshing algorithm as quasi structured uh, quad. Then I can confirm it and uh, create uh, the mesh. It will take a while because the mesh will be quite dense, but um, in a few seconds it should be ready and we will be able to proceed with the rest of the uh, simulation setup. So now, as you can see, the mesh is already uh, done, and uh, I can uh, switch to view without. It. And then um, I just need to create the material, uh, which will be uh, steel with the standard properties early mo using most of my tutorials. So uh, standard Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. And then I'll also create some sections. Of course, those will be shell sections, but um, since the stiffened panel has, uh, in this case, different thicknesses for different regions, I will need uh, different sections for each one. So the first one will be 13 millimeters thickness, and it will be applied to the plate itself. And for this, I will use the surface angle selection to select all the faces at once. So with one uh, click, I can select all the, you know, the faces. And then uh, I proceed to, the, to another section, which will be 11 millimeters thickness and this one will be applied to uh, to the flanges of the uh, of the sniffers uh, so you know, here i assign the, uh, the new section and the last one uh, will be uh, nine millimeters and this one will be assigned to the web of uh, each uh, stiffener so um, i can select them uh, like this and then uh, i confirm um, and to confirm the uh, the proper assignments i can go to view color annotations section thicknesses and here i can see uh, how the uh, different thicknesses are uh, assigned to the uh, to the part then i can go back to view and disable those uh, color annotations all right so um, now i have this part def defined and i just need to define the simulation itself so let's create a new step to be static step with the default settings and then um, I'll just need to assign some boundary conditions and load. So for the boundary conditions, I will select displacement rotation, and then I need to apply it to the, all the four edges of the square plate. And in order to do this, I can just use edge angle selection to easily select all the uh, edges on, on each side uh, with just selecting one of them. It will be propagated to, to the other ones. So this way I can easily select them. And then I will uh, specify all the um, translational degrees of freedom to be zero. So I can constrain the translations. Then I confirm it. Um, and finally, I need to apply some load, which will be uh, pressure in this case. So I select the uniform pressure load. And then I switch back to surface angle selection and I select the bottom of the, of the plate. And then for the value, I will use uh, 18. Uh, 80 kilopascals uh, for the value of the, of the pressure and it will be automatically converted to the uh, right value in megapascals so i can confirm it um, and then i have the uh, the definition uh, ready so uh, let's um, now submit the analysis and wait for the results the results are available now so let's open them and I'm interested in displacements here, so uh, let's switch to the right um, displacement in the Z uh, axis. And as always, I will uh, compare the result with analytical solution. So let's proceed to calc patch sheet. And here, I see, as you can see, I have several references. I mainly use the first one, uh, from, from the, the formula is from, from this one. But the other ones gave me some reference regarding the specific um, concept of effective breadth or effective width, which is needed to uh, calculate uh, the, the stiffened panel analytically. Uh, so um, this uh, moment of inertia uh, is for, for, for a stiffener with some effective width of the, of the plate. And this is the tricky part to determine this, this right value. Of the of the width, uh, but um, I have some uh, some result here, and um, based on those assumptions uh, I took here, um, you can see that uh, assumed uh, you can see that the um, estimated uh, value of the displacement will be 9.5 millimeters. And um, let's go back to Prepomex. And here I will switch to the query tool and vertex node, and I will just um, go to. Uh, rotate rotate the plate a bit uh, to, to be able to locate this point and then I can just query the uh, the result here as you can see it's 9.45 uh, around that 
So the so the value of displacement uh, calculated in Prepamax is very close to uh, to the value um, obtained uh, analytically uh, in in CalcPact uh, sheet. As you can see, the, the agreement is is good here. Um, so uh, that's another way also to to verify that the effective width is uh, assumed properly. Uh, all right, um, that's basically it for for this Prepamax tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your attention. And as always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest the topics for future tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and uh, see you in the next video.